Things over from Coral Reef High School to Coral Springs, where you're seeing hundreds of students filing out onto the football field there. Coral Springs, the neighbor of Parkland. So perhaps a lot of these students uh, know or interact with students who go to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School because of their proximity. They may hang out in similar areas, have similar friends. So, so these students, of course, have been touched by what they are seeing. Uh, we saw a lot of orange at that last school. We're seeing a lot of uh, burgundy. I just saw pass by or maroon, the color uh, of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High well, School. Half, half the students who actually attend Marjorie Stoneman Douglas come from Coral Springs. Yeah. So. It, it, the communities are very much intertwined, so they have also been impacted by this tragedy as well. And CBS 4's Joan Murray is there in Coral Springs right now. Joan, what are you seeing? Well, as you can see, uh, my photographer Manny, uh, the students are just trickling out, and they have asked them to go to a table where they are signing a petition in support of uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas students. Uh, calling for stricter measures in Washington. So it looks like here that uh, they're making this march around the football field at the school. Uh, you mentioned a minute ago about the close uh, connection, and that is true. This school is uh, only around five miles from Stoneman Douglas. Some siblings attend the school of students at Stoneman Douglas. Uh, they have been very active because of the proximity to Stoneman Douglas, where the tragedy unfolded a month ago. So this is uh, very impactful, very meaningful to these students. And Joan, from As where you you're standing uh, now, because of the prox. No I'm sorry, Joan. It, just curious. I was at JP Terravella a couple weeks ago, and because of the pro proximity of Terravella and Coral Springs High School to Parkland, some students actually they didn't just walk out onto the football field. They they walked out and decided to walk to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Are the kids there today pretty much staying confined to the field, or is anyone deciding to make that trek to the school? Now it looks to me like they are keeping them uh, within this area. As you know, uh, the superintendent sent home a letter where he basically said they would not interfere, but they were really encouraging for safety's sake for students to remain on campus or close to campus. And that, that appears to be what they're doing at this school and I'm sure at many other schools. I know when I contacted private schools, this was kind of the plan. Many people told me it is a safety issue. You know, if you start walking, you have to deal with traffic. Uh, uh, police, you know, p police have to be involved, and this was seen as a way to have a demonstration, show their support, but at the same time be safe, because it is always a concern when you start walking about traffic and anything that could happen in the interim, and it is a few miles from here. That's not to say they haven't done it before, as we saw a few weeks ago, students from Pompano Beach High School and other high schools joined in and walked to Stoneman Douglas. They just basically got up from their classroom, went out and, and there, but I talked to teachers, talked to parents, and it is always a concern. You know, while they support this social activism, they do worry about making a trek like that, you know, several miles in traffic. These are busy roads. Coral Springs High School is off busy Sample Road, um, and they'd have to cross many busy intersections. So, again, this is a way to show support. Uh, at the same time and be safe on the school campus. Of course, Joan Murray, the main goal here and, and really what they're fighting for is safety for students in school and not just in school, but anywhere that they may go. They are fighting against gun, gun violence and trying to make their voices heard. Joan Murray live for us in Coral Springs. We appreciate that report. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe you can talk to some students and we'll hear a little bit more as the morning and the day wears on. What you're looking at right now on the right side of your screen are live pictures out of Parkland at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Students gathered gathering in a fairly